Good afternoon guys and happy Sunday to all of your Sunshiny faces guys. I am in my new room and I am recording. I am going to share with you guys today my new room tour pretty much. Um, and I wanted to do it with the lights off because it actually does let in a lot of natural light. Unfortunately, it has been raining on and off and just been nasty all day today. So I'll kind of do a brief overview of what it looks like when the lights are off um, with most of the natural light that's coming in but it's not really even all of it because like I said there's a lot of clouds out today um, right now it's actually decently sunny but it was like pitch black out almost today um, earlier this afternoon because it was raining so hard but I'm going to show you guys what my room looks like and give you guys a tour my bed is not made because i'm actually kind of in the process of washing all my sheets just because i want fresh sheets i slept on them last i want to have some fresh sheets on my bed so i'm in the process of washing those right now hopefully that'll get done today but not completely everything is up on the walls um and i'll again kind of go over that with you guys and share with you guys where i'm expecting to hang everything but like my bulletin boards i still have to hang up but i have to get a fabric for those first and then also to my drapes or my curtains along with the curtain rod and everything like that is not up yet but everything else is up for the most part and a couple of my other things that I do want to hang up on the wall like um, I've got my little K thing I think I'm gonna hang over there just a couple of other things to my earring the thing that I'm gonna use to hang my earrings on I actually need to re um, mod podge it with new um, like what's it called um, card not card stock scrapbook paper um so i have to fix that up a little bit and a couple of other things but for the most part everything is pretty much in the place where it's going to be with the exception of like some decor stuff i guess so guys this is the room this is what it looks like it is like a tiffany blue kind of color um with my white with the border that was already in here the trim is all white along with my bottom um floorboards are white too my bed got repainted and then also to that which was originally pink um repainted and then this is my new desk setup as well over here um for my new media entertainment computer desk setup stuff going on over here and i got my tv mounted today so um yeah i'll show you guys pretty much um on the back of my door it's the same as how it's been before i've got my shower caps and i hang my like towels and then also to my um what's it called bathrobe and like sometimes the sweatshirt which i'm actually wearing right now <laughs> so that's why that's there and then i've got my mirror which is hanging here um it was originally a little bit taller i actually like the length of it right now it's um a little bit shorter for me since i'm a short person so um that works out well and i always put my purse on the back of my door so that is where all of that kind of is sometimes too like in the winter i might hang my jacket my pink jacket or my north face here if it's like fall kind of for um if i'm running out of the house or whatever because i'll always come back in here to get my shoes and my purse and stuff like that so i just leave my jacket in here and then over here that's actually my doorstop it's just a bunch of change i've had this on the floor for forever um and then over here i've got my now i have two printers this one is the nicer one the copier scanner faxer photo all that kind of stuff this one's a lot nicer, but ink is ridiculously expensive for it. I like using it for the like photocopying stuff like that. Um, it's really good and I will probably possibly use it as well for printing, but I have got a cheaper printer that I use for just like daily printing and stuff like that. But I really like the photocopying aspect of it. So yeah, that's why I have two printers. Um, but this one is on here since it is so much bigger. I have it on this, which used to be my grandma's and I'm possibly thinking about maybe repainting it white but it is like uh how to describe it like the wood it'll probably soak up a lot of the paint but since i have so much extra white left over i really don't think that's a problem now inside of here i have actually got all of my like i guess um cords plugs just like um electronics and things like that these are my headphones with mics on them and then i've got also um some xbox controllers in here that are for me both my xbox 
360 controller that I used for my Xbox and then the Xbox One which I'll use if I go out in the living room um, just because Matthew and Jack tend to break all the ones we have so I have one of my own so it doesn't get broken and then in here what I did was I organized all of my cords um, with like this is for can my Canon camera or my GoPro it'll fit either or because they're the same size and so I did that that way this too is for um, like plugs and things like that I've got my extra like USB this one's for the car this one I think is the USB for my um, camera battery charger I can plug it in in the car as well and this is actually for I believe a European extender which came with the, the set that I got for my camera batteries but basically I just organized it like by printer and like all kinds of other stuff and I like that they're in bags so that if I'm looking for something I have to dig through like 6,000 different cords that are in here to try and find what I'm actually looking for then I've got inside of here is actually my iPad mini and then I've got all of my GoPro accessories in the GoPro case and these are all of my headphones. Down in here I have got literally a random assortment of also like electronics and things like that. These are actually my old cell phones which I still keep because like I have some messages of, that, of my grandma and things like that on here and like old photos and stuff like that. If I can get that stuff off of here I might eventually just chuck them or whatnot but until then I don't really know how to get them off of here. Um, and then just to like extra ink and like just oddities and things like that. I, I think it's original iPod touch which I still have the case for and everything. I don't really use it that much anymore but like ridiculously old <laughs> so um i've also got like the box for my iphone and that the box for my ipad and for my camera and stuff like that and just other random little things and stuff in here like more electronics and stuff like that and then down here i keep my copy paper and then also lined graph paper and things like that as well I've also got my Xbox 360 in here, which is super, super old. I think it's one of the original ones. The only thing that it will hold because of how little memory it has on here, I think, is YouTube and Netflix. So I have it hooked up to my TV. If I do want to watch that, um, I can do it on my TV instead of having to like watch it through my computer. And then, you know, I have to get up every single time to change it. It's just a lot easier. And then also, too, I can play some things that I have saved on a USB because I can plug them into that. Um, and I could always get like an external hard drive if I wanted to but I think the disc thing on it's busted it doesn't work anymore so I can really only play like digital things and stuff like that that are downloaded but regardless I really only use it for Netflix and YouTube and I think like maybe Minecraft might be on one of them but I haven't really used it for that too often so um that is what that's for and that has got my TV hooked up and then also too I've got my um at and hooked up as well so I can watch UVerse TV live shows I can watch baseball games football games <laughs> you guys know I'm always watching sports and the nice thing is too is that I've actually when I first bought the TV I bought it with a mount and I can actually move this um which I couldn't before because it was so high up so now it's actually closer to my TV I can see it a lot better whereas it was back in that corner it was so hard to see anything because it wasn't a really big screen my tv is actually smaller than my computer monitor but now that it's a little bit lower i can see so i can see if i'm watching it in my bed or if i if and when i get my chair that i want to get for here i will be able to see that as well so i actually really like the placement of it and that it's lower what I'm planning on putting there, I haven't totally decided yet. I might possibly end up putting my smaller bulletin board um, or else I might actually hang up my calendar. I don't know where that's going yet. I've got to try and figure that out. Down in here, I've actually got, this is my other electronics bin. I know guys, I've got like three or four of them or whatever, but this is where I'm going to keep my camera, my phone, um, my GoPro and like my tripods and stuff like that. This is stuff I'll probably use more often. That's more of like storage kind of, I guess. Um, but like my my tripods and things like that I do use more often then down here you guys are gonna laugh at me I've got like food and stuff like that down in here only because I like to snack and um, I didn't want to put my PC in there because it says and there's a warning on here too like that it needs to be um, the door has to be open for it to vent properly and I don't want to have to deal with that every single time I have my PC on which is almost all the time during the day and I'll just randomly hop on it I'll probably forget to do it I don't want to end up like blowing you know something or um you know causing it to overheat so i am going to just leave it out underneath here which is totally fine but yeah i keep snacks down there because half the time they're like 
vegetarian snacks or something like that that um you know like i will keep my pretzel chips for hummus in here but then if i leave them out in the living room everybody will eat them and then when i go to eat them with my hummus they won't be there and i get frustrated so um yeah then also too today guys i've been working on some um what's it called i think it's blanket stitching um and i was doing that today and learning how to do it on pinterest so that's actually why this stuff is sitting out here because i was like oh look at that i can do that while i'm just sitting here um then up in here i've actually got just like a random little stationary holder that i think was my grandma's but i have got it just because it holds my stuff that i need um pretty well like i've got actually i really don't know if i even need it but again we'll see how much i end up using it if i realize i don't and it's kind of taking up space i can always get rid of it but i have an abundance of space which is awesome i've got hand sanitizer this is my little um like serenity a little waterfall along with my um scentsy and then in here is actually again a random assortment of things these are so stinking cool guys too they actually lock up so i don't even have to worry about them in here i'm got like again random things i don't even really know it's like got half scentsy kind of stuff like these are just like smelly little glade things and stuff i've got my um aroma like my diffuser for oils and then too i've got like my blender bottle and my extra water bottle and um also to my like little bottles and things like that and i'm probably going to keep my coffee mugs in here too only because i like to keep mine separate from everybody else i don't know why um just because i feel like if i don't someone's going to use it, it's going to get lost or left out somewhere so regardless um yeah that's what is in here along with like my extra straws and stuff like that because once again if i were to leave these out in the living room someone else would use them they get lost and then when i need actually need to use them they'd be gone plus two i've got my i've got my chopsticks which i barely use in here um so yeah that's what is in here and then up in here um i've got my second printer which is the cheaper ink which is why i use this one more often um because the ink is like i said way less expensive plus two i can only get ink for this one at target so i can get ink pretty much for this anywhere because it's an hp and then i just again random stuff up here my little daily mood thing is up here and then i've got um my grandma's actually was her um little what's it called paperclip holder and then this to me and her made together when she was doing art um or like she was teaching art when i was homeschooled so that's why i've got like some little um things that like i can't part with but they're kind of like i don't know i don't really even use them for anything but i've also got my little um not mason jar it's like a little dairy jar thingy that my mom used um to give us like valentine's gifts i just thought it was cute to display out here and then here guys my obsession with post-it notes as you guys can tell these are all like miniature ones and then i've got regular post-it notes in there then also my sharpie obsession which i have and then also these are all um dry erase markers which i don't have really that many of um i guess considering the amount of everything else that i have and then in here guys also my other obsession that i have candles so um this is actually hardware that i'm going to need to fix the um what's it called i don't have a valence on here they're actually sitting here we put them on backwards or wrong so we have to take them off and we are going to have to re-put them on later probably when my dad ends up put, hanging the drape stuff but these are all my candles i know guys i have an obsession these were actually all sitting on top of my old desk now that i can kind of put them away and have them not in here will be nice and i can actually burn candles because before i had so much stuff sitting out on my desk i was always scared i was going to start the house on fire now i do not have to worry about that so much so i'll probably burn candles a lot more often Often. then down here yeah i'm snacking guys i've got my uh, computers my two computers because i have two of them this one i do not use barely hardly at all sometimes i will but um i've got i use this one more often this one is actually down here now i also this desk which i slow love has got a pull out um thing as well which before i had mine which was a computer desk right and then i had my grandma's which was over here and it was not like it must have been a sewing desk or something. It was super short to the ground. Like I couldn't even have this thing up at all. It was like almost on the ground and it didn't have one of these. So it just didn't work and I'm happy Matthew has it still. Um, but you know, it just didn't work for me. I'm in my space and I'm so small in here, but I kind of need this space because I need 
my, you know, my computer over here and then over here I can use for either writing or I can kind of do it here. Like I said, I was sewing while I was using this. The space worked so well for me and um, I could do it over here too if I wanted to, you know, if I didn't need the computer for anything or I can also put my Mac here, which is why I've got this plugged over here so that I can actually just switch out my Mac cords when I want and I can have my Mac, my MacBook I can have here and use that so I can kind of multitask like if I want to upload and then also you need to use this for something or whatever, I can do both of the same time got my little um what you call it thingy over here oh and then up there too i've got like organized um my paper clips and i think those are like i don't even know maybe um like thumbtacks and stuff like that then that's pens pencils and then more like kind of just random stationary things as well i think there's like ink and scissors and stuff like that it's just kind of an overflow and excess then up there i think there's bookmarks in one of those and something else i think maybe like stickers or something honestly guys those are really old and they were up in the attic and because i didn't have enough room before i didn't have them down here now that they're in here i kind of reorganize them but they're still kind of like random things in there and i'll probably go through and reorganize them again then I got my little, um, my second little, um, like pen holder along with my scissors. And then I've got the other one over there that I put in there. My second alarm clock I've got over here. This I actually think I'm, I need to get, um, some for this because I don't want to ruin this. So I just pulled one out of the living room and was using that for my coffee. I've also got my, um, what's it called? My light. And then I love it because it's got the little USB plug in here. So I've charged my phone up. And then also too, I can charge my bed my um, camera battery because it's got a little outlet so I use that plus two I hold my um, extra little I don't use it for the pens because I got a pen holder here but for like my USBs my batteries and stuff like that and then also to like my SD cards for my camera because I use this stuff you know pretty much every day anyway so that's why that is there then over here this is a space I'm kind of don't know what to do with I like I said want to get a chair but this one that I used to have in my room way too big I don't even want to take it out honestly because I don't it's not going to fit and I'm not going to be able to get to anything over here so um I decided that one's going to go to Matthew and Jack and I am going to like I said get or repurpose or something a new chair for here um just because I want to have one that I can sit at do my my work at or whatever I could also watch tv if I want to and then also too if I have friends over I can you know sit here on the bed or whatever and we don't have like one place to try and sit or something like that so again I want to get some type of chair for here but I'm not totally sure yet and then this is just my nail polish I've got three tiers of nail polish and you guys would be surprised to know I like never wear nail polish why I have it I really don't know <laughs> um I keep telling myself I'm like I gotta wear nail polish I'll put some on my toes but honestly I'd never do my nails um, my fingers only because I am in water, you know, washing dishes all the time and stuff like that. And so it's always peeling or coming off or whatnot. And I'm really rough on them. So, um, plus two, I don't have the patience to sit there and wait, but you know, oh well. Um, so yeah, this is kind of extra space for right this minute. And then over here, I've got my little white shelf that used to be pink that my grandma gave me actually before she ended up moving into her, um, assisted living. And so up here, I've got... I've got my bracelet display up here. My mom actually bought these, was going to use them for something else, ended up not, and then was going to get rid of them. I was like, hey, I'll take them and put my bracelets on here because they were in my little jewelry thing and it didn't hold them well at all. So I put them in here and I like them because they're displayed and they look cute and actually remind me to wear jewelry more often because I don't. This was what I was telling you guys that I needed to refinish and this is going to hang all of my earrings um, on here, my hanging earrings, but it will hang up on the wall somewhere um, for right now. I need to like I said refinish it so it's just kind of sitting here this too my grandma gave me and I want to put a picture of possibly me and her or her in here and then also to these I just I didn't know what to put here and my stuffed animals my elephants which you guys know I love so much um I just put here and then too because I kind of you know I need to release my inner nerd sometimes <laughs> and I put all of my sims games which I have in here and then to like my um fallout Bobblehead is actually in the case, but I'm probably going to take it out and then just leave those. I don't know if I want to keep these out or not. Right now, I don't have anything really that I need to put on the shelves, but if I did want to use it for decor or whatever, I could put them in a box and put them under my bed. It'd be totally fine, but for right now, I actually love how well they fit on the shelf um, like perfectly, so I really do like that. This is my box of all of my magazines, um, which I've got a lot of, and I would like to have them here so that I can read when I want to in my 
chair and they were up on that shelf then I ended up that was over here and moved it but now it's too tall like too close to the ceiling that the box won't fit plus two it's ridiculously heavy I kind of don't want it you know possibly ending up falling or something like that because it is heavy so I'm gonna leave that down here and then this is actually the curtain rod that I did get and I'm going to, like I said, put up here and do my drapes with. Up there is right now just random things that actually was overflow from here. But I have this all organized, which I like because it looks cute instead of just random stuff all out in here. And this is all my makeup organization. I did a video a long time ago about how I organized that. It's not totally organized anymore. I've got like random vitamins and stuff like that in here. But I did do that. I will try and link that for you guys. But up here is kind of like my makeup up get ready and jewelry kind of thing over here that I really like but I would like a sit down table and maybe in a future vlog I'll discuss that with you guys but I've got my mirror my makeup brushes and then to this actually has got nothing in it but I would like to get rid of this one because obviously it doesn't really match with my room and I've had it since I was like probably five four or five years old um so I don't really want it anymore but it does a really good job of holding my earrings and stuff like that like stud earrings these are all obviously going to be hung up on that once it's done so that's why they're in here and then some of these too but um it's got like it holds my rings and my stud earrings but I'd like to somehow turn this into that by doing maybe little dividers or something and then leave those in there and then that's my piggy bank and let's see I just leave out like my deodorant and my melatonin because I take that every night and that's stuff I use daily. Um, ideally, I'd like to find somewhere else, but again, for right now, not totally sure. These are my two, um, what's it called, bulletin boards. This one, I want to hang up, the bigger one, I want to hang up here, and I'm going to hang all of my necklaces, which right now are on a hanger in my closet, and I don't want them to be there, um, but I want to use that for um, that purpose, to hang all of my jewelry again, so I can display it, so I can see it. Um, it actually, I might want to put it down here, and then put a nicer, bigger mirror, or something like that here, um, so that I can work kind of in unison, and be able to see myself, because right now, this is all I have to see myself to get ready in the morning, and again, I would like something bigger and nicer here. This, I again, don't really have anything on. I pretty much decluttered it. Um, I've got my remotes for my TV that are here. Again, this, which eventually will be in there. And then I just leave my Mac on here most nights because I use it before I go to bed. I watch like a YouTube or something like that, sometimes in the morning too. And then again, I've got the cord is plugged in here, but I can always switch that out and move it over here if I need to and whatnot. Um, and I just have got a extension cord that runs to the back wall down there. And I think too, I'm going to put my extra um what's it called um my extra phone charger also plug it in over here so that i can have it either charging over here if i'm over in my bed or else i can charge it over there if i'm by my computer and using it or whatnot then down here this is kind of my stockpile from when i was couponing and stuff like that and it has got that's all like hair care stuff like um what's it called sprays and mousses and all that kind of stuff this is lotion that is body wash and all body wash and then that's soap and then um yeah up there i guess that's kind of that's like tooth i think tooth stuff like i've got floss and whatnot up there and plus two I have like extra toothbrush heads for my toothbrush that's shaving stuff and then that is I can't remember off the top of my head maybe like cleansers and stuff like that for my face um and then my bed which is here and again messy because I just slept in it and most likely end up doing that laundry and stuff like that so that's why and then here guys too I like the less cluttery minimalist feeling I really like that I got rid of so much stuff um but up there that is my little shrine to Olaf because um Jack made me actually that Olaf picture then I have my little Olaf pop up there and the next to that is actually a little Olaf ornament that says some people are worth melting for and it's got like little um fake snow stuff in there with the little like um what's it called a uh, carrot nose and stuff like that so it's super cute and I just have that stuff up there I got it all one Christmas I put it up there and left it there and so I was like hey I'll just do the same um and then too I've got my books here and then what I really love though is that I, I stack my books like vertically instead of horizontally like on the side because one, if you have, um, like, what's it called, uh, not non-hardcover books, um, 
sometimes it can mess up the pages because they'll like slide and stuff like that so having them this way for me I found keeps them from not doing that and ruining like the cover or the binding and stuff like that or the pages um, and then also too because I think it just looks less cluttery like that way um, and simpler I don't know I do have my little elephant book ends here that hold my fake books and my Bible <laughs> my fake books being this one's actually a hollowed book that I think my mom got me from like um Hobby Lobby or something like that and I just I don't even have anything in it but I was in love with the idea of having one and now I'll probably hide like secrets and things like that in there um and then that one too is another one my mom ended up giving me because she knew how much I loved it but yeah that is actually I think pretty much my room guys I'm sorry this is so long I'm just doing a huge overhaul of my room my ugly air conditioner that's in the window and then two underneath my bed maybe I'll do another video I don't have my dust ruffle on my bed anymore I took it off because it was actually too big for my bed I think my parents got like an oversized one or something like that and it didn't end up being the right size and it hung over and with the white was all on it just looked nasty but yeah maybe in the future I'll kind of show you guys how I organized underneath my bed basically it is just all these boxes for the most part and it's all actually organized which I love um, it took me a while to do it before we started painting but now I all I had to do was just bring the boxes down and they're all organized down in there and that's my little caddy that I take to the bathroom with me when I take a shower it's got like my shampoos and things like that in there and so yeah guys I think that's pretty much it that's my bedroom and that is my beautiful chandelier I didn't show you guys I'll show you guys with it on here you go that is with it on and that is what the room looks like it's actually more of a yellow like the bulbs are more of a yellow kind of right now but it actually does make the room very bright and nice and I do not need the other one I have this desk lamp and I think I'm going to get another one that kind of matches like this that I saw at Target um, or Target.com and get that maybe one or two for like over here by my bed and then maybe one over here or one up here or something like that I'm not totally sure I'll figure that out but yeah that's my room guys so far um for the most part so yeah that was a big huge overhaul i know guys i'm like showing you everything pretty much in my room oh except for i didn't show you guys these drawers um this is all stationary stuff i have a serious obsession guys to stationary products and things like that um like the back to school sales and stuff like that are like christmas for me i love going to office depot this has got honestly a lot of kind of random stuff i don't want to call it a junk drawer but it's kind of just a couple random things i didn't really know where i wanted to put so i put those in there and then down in here again more stationary stuff this is pretty much all brand new stuff or things that i know i'm going to use like sharpies and pens and then also to just like brand new journals and um notebooks and things like that that i will use but i just haven't started them yet or for whatever reason or whatnot so yeah guys i think that's finally it um i am going to actually have my snack right now and i um, probably watch a youtube video or two but i hope you guys enjoyed my room tour and like i said as i start adding things or changing things and moving things around i'll probably let you guys know just because I love it in here now it's like a little oasis it has to that like fresh paint smell that just makes it smell like a I don't even know like someone else's house or something like that that I'm like wow it just smells so like I come in here every single time and I'm like I don't even need to burn a candle because it just smells so good like I don't even know what the smell is like oh it just really smells refreshing in here so anyways though guys yeah I'm gonna get back to that and relax enjoy my evening now that the sun is finally coming out guys that is gonna do it for me for today I was actually able to get my work done for today. I also watched the Cubs game. I was actually able to sit at my desk and watch the Cubs game at the same time while I worked, which was pretty awesome. And then to top that off too, I also started um, my, okay guys, I told you guys about how I started my bullet journal. And honestly, my handwriting is horrid, horrible. I can't even like, I don't even know. I screwed up my bullet journal because my handwriting is so bad and like what I was trying to do and wanted to do and stuff like that and it just did not and doesn't look very pretty and I am just not happy with myself. Um, I don't know, my, my handwriting just looks like it's like a four year old. So um, <laughs> I just, like a bullet journal I feel like is for people who are a little bit more like have some type of, I don't know good handwriting and like arts 
artistic I guess too because um, it's kind of like for you to make it your own way and I can't do any of that so what I decided to do is I'm actually going to make myself a planner binder kind of thing um, and I'm going to make it in publisher because I pay for um, like yearly or whatever for like the Microsoft Office I've never used Publisher in all the years I've had it. I use PowerPoint all the stinking time for all kinds of stuff and Word too all the time. But all the other stuff like OneNote and Publisher and um, Outlook and stuff like that, I don't use any of that stuff. I just literally use it for PowerPoint and for, um, for Word. And I have Publisher. I was like, I really should take advantage of using it. Even like too, because you can do so much stuff with it, like make cards and letters and like all kinds of, you know, fancy stuff and whatnot. And I should take advantage of it. So I started making my new planner in that. I'm still going to use my bullet journal, not for like bullet journal planning, but I think I want to use it more for like, um, more drawing things like that and stuff but I will get to that tomorrow because it ended up going to bed later ish last night but I slept in really late today because I was just so exhausted so anyway so I've made this vlog long enough I'll talk to you guys all in tomorrow's if you guys did enjoy today so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog so bye guys